Battlefield Exodus was released only a few days ago. And if you guys would like to catch that and the analysis of it, I've got a link in the description and an annotation on screen. Although there were a lot of questions that remained in it. Namely, what was in that briefcase that Oz wanted so badly? And how did Pac release himself from the gurney when he was clearly handcuffed to it? As well as a lot of lore that is still needed to be explored in Battlefield 2042, explaining the world and what is going to happen. We have taken a journey through the eyes of Kabon Bashir all the way through seven chapters. So I've also got a link to that in the description and an annotation on screen. But today we are going to be looking at another chapter, one that Battlefield just released. This is part eight, Prelude to War. The date is October 20th, 2042 in the Mediterranean Sea. London is three feet underwater, the failed capital of a failed state. Why Oz rerouted the exodus there was a mystery, one that only heightened when capital Kimball Irish Graves went ashore alone and returned with a bleeding marine, a briefcase, and instructions for an ocean rendezvous. It should have been a simple handoff, but something made Irish change his mind. Soon, tracer fire from three condors peppered the deck as we ran heading into a Category 5 storm for cover. Explosions ripped my eardrums as I hid. Whatever was in that briefcase was clearly worth more to Oz than the 200 notepads on this ship. As our valiant task force fought through a hellscape of bullets and shrapnel, the watertight door shielding us below deck exploded off its hinges. A blood-soaked soldier came barreling in and found what he was looking for, leverage. Irish's seven-year-old son, Omar. I originally joined Oz because I agree that no pats need to unify if they're ever going to have a place in the world. Irish later explained to me, difference is he thinks that will only happen if the old world dies. That's why he wants a war. So America and Russia will burn each other to the ground. Problem is the no pats will burn with them. His look hardens as he plays with a pair of dog tags in his hands. When I was a Marine, I saw the cost of war on civilians firsthand. There's a reason I quit. In Oz and Irish, I saw two men fighting for no pat survival and through very different means. One was trying to stay out of America and Russia's reach and the other was actively trying to manipulate them. That's what the intel in that briefcase was all about. Coordinates to an American secrets the Russians wanted. Bait to draw the superpowers into an all out war. That night during the battle, when Oz's men took Irish's son, something changed. A no pat, a child needed me. I knew what Rao or Angel or Falk would do, what I had to do. I'm no soldier, but I ran after him anyway. Then I heard the American soldier Irish shot in London. Clayton Pakowski, handcuffed to a gurney, promising to help. He had that same look I'd seen in the specialists along his journey. I released him. The sacrifice he made later saved Irish's son, but the intel slipped into the open. After a year on this assignment, I found the answer I was looking for. The Nopats are everything people say they are. Smugglers, sinners, saints, and so much more. The world created the non-patriated and then blamed them for its problems. But now this task force might be the very key to saving it. When the smoke cleared, we could all see the look in our captain's eyes. Oz had to be stopped from setting the world on fire. Irish had gone from Marine to Nopat, but he was still a soldier taking orders. Now he knew he had to lead. I watched from the bridge as Irish took the comms and put out a call, not knowing who would answer. The only way to stop this war is to get in the middle of it, get ready to fight. In chapter eight, we understood that Kayvon Bashir was the one who released Pac to let him help Irish. We also found out that the intel that Irish was holding onto was something that is going to start all out war in the intel between US and Russia. And I honestly have this odd feeling that we are going to see another chapter. But more importantly, we still don't know who Oz is. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and do subscribe and turn the bell on to be notified when another chapter drops. And I'll catch you all in the next episode.